Is it good? How are you doing? This is Martin from Gardens for Life again. We're going to harvest uh, Chinese artichokes in this video. And they're actually a relative to the mint family. Uh, they're in the mint family, I should say. They're a relative to mint. Mm -hmm. And um, so they do spread quite uh, vigorously. So do be aware of that. But the tubers are actually really nice to eat. I'll show you a picture of the tubers here. And we'll show you how to harvest those now. We can also grow them in containers, either in crates or in large flower pots. So they're best eaten raw, I think. Um, you can actually add them into a salad. Uh, that's probably the best way to eat them. And they're really nice. You can harvest them any time of the winter. And um, yeah, they're basically just a, a tuberose rhizome. That's all they are. And they're, of course, they're perennial. So here we have our little Chinese artichoke patch. This is one of the plants. We just planted this in a crate first, and then we um, basically just planted the crate out here into the garden. We don't mind if they do spread in this area because we like to eat them. And we also offer them on our website. Look, you can help. You can dig here. Look, there's some. There's also quite a lot of worms here. Look. What's this? That's the Chinese artichoke. It's a here white one. one. Yeah, it's white. Look, that's what they look like. We'll uh, rinse them off in a while and then you'll see them better. So these um, Chinese artichokes here have been grown in a container. This is the one here. So that's just a crate. You could also use a flower pot or a bucket. Same thing. Um, so we already took these off the bottom here, off the bottom of the crate. But you can see it makes for really easy harvesting. You can see there's quite a few here. But I'm going to collect them. And we'll give you a quick comparison to see how these ones compare with the ones grown outside. Thing, things like mint actually are probably best grown in a container so that uh, well, basically to contain them. So, not bad in comparison. Um, here's what we got out of one crate. And there was maybe about, probably about 20 of them uh, planted here. I think I did about um, 30 or 40 in each uh, tray, in each crate, originally. And then I split the crates half in half in midsummer because they were running out of space. So as you can see, pretty sizable harvest. That's not bad. I say you can grow them in containers just as well as um, out in a garden bed. All right, let's give one of these a try. It's crispy and crunchy. Very subtle flavor. Really crisp and clean. And it's a little bit nutty and it's perfect for eating with a salad. I think we'll have to try that later on today. Alright, thanks for watching this video. 
and please give us a thumbs up if you like the video we would appreciate it and if you're interested in any tubers we have our winter selection coming up shortly and they're already available on our website thanks very much bye bye